So in this video series, we're going to start preparing the um, Green Shields, Basilevs and Lee benchmark case for open foam calculics and precise coupling. Um, I will assume that you have um, a, running inst a working installation of open foam calculics with the uh, precise library and precise adapters for those two codes. If not, please refer to the installation videos for those. I also assume that you have followed the create geometry and mesh with Salome videos and that you have the two UNV files for fluid and solid mesh respectively. We will build this case based on a tutorial case, which I would say is in general a good idea. So you don't want to set these cases up from scratch with the whole directory structure, but it's a good idea to copy a tutorial case and then replace mesh and boundary conditions and adjust the um, setup files. So the first thing we need to do, therefore, is get the tutorial cases, which are on the precise GitHub page. So when you click that, it should bring you to the GitHub page. And if you are a Git member of GitHub or if you have a GitHub account, you can download that using Git clone, but you can also download the zip file and simply unpack the tutorials into your precise folder. So that will have created a directory with all the different precise tutorials in it. And we are going to use the Elastic Tube 3D to try. Um, so in order to do that, uh, to, to um, create that tutorial, um, the best way is simply to copy this. So you can obviously copy paste, which will create a copy and then rename that. Um, for example, like this, or if you are already firm in using the command line, then it is copy minus R elastic to 3D to Lee 2012. There we are. So we now have this case well prepared. Let me copy the data from Salome into that precise tutorial. Obviously, you can do that by the command line as well. So we now have the Salome um, file and the two UNV mesh files that we exported earlier. So we now have the files that we need. So I want to continue with walking you through the directory structure of a typical precise case. So when we look at the side case, you will see that it has fluid open foam directory, which contains an open foam case. It has a solid calculix directory, this, this one, which contains the calculix case. Both of these cases can be run separately as well if we don't use the coupling. It has an images directory, this one, which we don't need, which just has one image of the description of the case. We can delete that later. 
it has the files that we just copied in from the Salome. There's a clean tutorial shell script which you can use in between uh, runs or when you want to restart from scratch, which deletes all the results files and sets up the case from the beginning. It has a config file, which we'll look into later, and all of them come with a readme file. So the readme file has some information on it, in particular, how you can run the simulation and how you can then post-process it. Um, all the tutorial files come with a readme file. We're not going to run the tutorial file though. We are going to um, set up or adjust the tutorial for our own purposes later on. But let's have a look at the different case um, directories in this um, file, in this case. So we have the open phone case, which is essentially the same as any other open phone case. It has two scripts, run shell and clean shell, which we're going to look into later on. It has the system directory, which has the um, setup files in it. It has the constant directory, which has the mesh files and the material properties in it. And it has a zero directory, which has the different boundary conditions, in this case for pressure and velocity for the open foam, for the pure open foam case, but we also need a point displacement boundary condition for the coupling in this case. The solid Calculix case has the sol uh, Calculix setup uh, in it, and we're going to look at all of these files in detail when we adjust the two cases. So what I want to do now is I basically want to copy these, the fluid file in here. So copy the fluid mesh into the fluid um, case. And I want to copy the solid mesh into the Calculix case. Um, and we will now look uh, into how do we do adjust these two different cases to allow for the coupling and to use our meshes that we created earlier. So this is what we're going to do in the next few videos, starting with the open phone case.